I don't really know how to start this video. I don't really make <coughs> many videos like this. You know, my channel's my channel's quite a positive channel. Uh, I promote the military a lot. You know, um, a lot of people who watch my channel are all from like the military or young kids that want to go into the military. So we all have like common grounds and we have a bit of banter and fun. Okay. Um, two days ago. Uh, me and one of my best mates, John, lost a very close friend to us. Uh, he actually committed suicide due to PTSD. His name was Kev. He was 29, and he was an absolute legend. Um, John introduced me to Kev uh, last year, and we instantly clicked. Um, X-Rifles like me, you know, I'm X-Rifles, Kev was X-Rifles, okay. Um, and he seemed like a winner, you know, he was a winner. Um, he was just battling his demons due to PTSD. So, <clears throat> so the point what I'm trying to get across here is, you know, that PTSD is, is, a, is a real thing, you know, and it really messes people up. And I feel like YouTube, YouTube, the internet, needs to see how much of a le legend Kev was, so. Um, we love you, Kev, bro. Uh, rest in peace, buddy. My name is Kevin Williams. I'm 27 years old. I'm an ex-Royal Green Jacket, a trained mercenary, and a Muay Thai fighter. What made me want to join the army was the first time I saw soldiers in TV. I was pretty much impressed by their discipline and their mental strength and I thought I want to be amongst those. I ended up joining the British Army at 16 and I was deployed to Iraq on my 18th birthday. I left the army at the age of 22. Returning to civilian life was a big shock. The skills I learned, especially being in an infantry regiment, was all combat based. So civilian life doesn't really have any combat. I was pretty much, uh, you know, useless. Not too long after coming back from Iraq, I just felt sad all the time. I lost a friend out there and I didn't really grieve until I got back. I didn't know how to handle normal everyday tasks, you could say. Having that soldier's mentality, it makes you think, no, I'm stronger than this, I, I can rise above this. I was diagnosed with PTSD by a, uh, a charity called Combat Stress. They welcomed me like they welcome anyone else and they just took the correct steps and measures from there. I got myself fit enough and strong enough to start thinking about becoming a mercenary. I needed that involvement with a military lifestyle again. The odds were a bit against me and there's a lot of ex-military personnel going into the private military industry so it was very hard for me to find work as a mercenary. I began Muay Thai, which is known as Thai boxing, and I was taking it up a lot further. I found a Muay Thai gym, and I decided to put the mercenary things on hold. My coach Darren is a great coach. I told him straight away I wanted to fight, and he was like, okay, we'll do that. And I'm like, jab, ass, cross, ass, elbow, ass, kick, ass, good knee, ass. After about a year in the gym, I ended up flying to Thailand. And little to my knowledge, I'd end up fighting a native Thai boxer. It was a dream to go to Thailand and train Muay Thai. I was pretty gutted when I left Sitman Chai. I knew the first thing I had to do was get back as soon as possible. I'm proud to have Kevin as part of the gym and that all the guys are proud of him. Pleased to see him doing so well out at Sitman Chai as well, because you know, he's gone out there He's fought hard, he's had two hard fights out there, he's done them proud, he's done us proud. Life without Muay Thai, it, it just wouldn't be the same. I don't think I'd feel happy. I was born to fight, that's who I am. Do you think you'll rule the world? Of course I'll rule the world, I'm a green jacket, that's what we do. What I want people to take away from this is, you know, like, the military <clears throat> and the forces is a serious thing, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not a movie, it's serious, you know, it takes a toll on people, and, like, PTSD is a real thing, you know, and 
I just want to get that across, you know? That, like, the army isn't fun in games, the military isn't fun in games, okay? It's a serious job, you know, and it has it has serious consequences on people, you know? Um, I want to try and raise awareness of PTSD. I, I did a video on this before. I still stand by it now. Um, massive respect to anyone who's what did serve. Thank you very much for your service. Anyone who's still serving. You guys do deserve a lot of respect. Kev, you're an absolute legend, mate. You'll be missed. You'll be missed. Do you think you'll rule the world? Of course I'll rule the world. I'm a green jacket. That's what we do. Hey! Hey!